All right, I guess they'll start roaming around helping kids. So here's just some kite doctoring, see if there's anything to doctor. John Pollock and his uh, flower, that is really neat. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah do a throw exactly that's like the um like they do with the indoor too the yeah, revs city of fort collins thank you so much for coming out i know i'm going to be repeating myself but we've got a lot of people floating in no it's colorado here, welcome sure <laughs> colorado yeah, the reason we don't have one in billings is for the same reason exactly oh you mean because the last um the last convention yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, that convention we had in Billings was a, a fluke yep. as far as wind. Yeah, that's the hard part is I guess, you know, we you need to focus those things on the windier spots, right really, you know. You can make a you know, kite I, for the kid. I, uh, We've already been talking about just going off the rotation and, and just for going for wherever the best deal and, and the best winds are up, instead of going east, and west, under. and, um, you know, central. kite contest, all right? I, uh, I got some judges that are sitting behind uh, me, and they're going to come by and hand out free little kites. So again, at 11 o'clock, six and under, and, uh, the most I colorful really, kite. You know, tried to tell them, you know, this is so iffy. For I had made a kite for it, and a whole month before the festival, there wasn't enough wind to test for Yeah. I mean... You're talking this or less. Oh, I know. They have the whole. They, I woke up that morning at the festival. It was the same way. Forced to start flying at one o'clock. About ten o'clock, the wind started. Blew for a week. Quit for the next two weeks. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. By the time you're ready for the festival, there comes the wind. There's no wind. It's 